There's a new exhibit at the Minnesota History Center called Suburbia, and you can learn what it was like to build the Twin Cities suburbs in the 1950s. And here to tell us more about the exhibit is Kate Roberts, the exhibit developer. Thank you for joining us, Kate. Pleasure to be here. I know you're not a suburban girl. You are from Minneapolis. I grew up in the Wyzetta Plymouth area, but I've made my way back to the city. But for mm -hmm. people who grew up in the suburbs here, what will they appreciate about this exhibit? Well, I think what's great about the exhibit, if you grew up in the suburbs or not, it's a chance to really talk about a time in the Twin Cities history, right after World War II, when a lot of the suburbs really boomed. So people are coming home from the war, the, economy is improving, all sorts of factors come together and that's where our first ring suburbs developed which is kind of great. So the other thing about the exhibit, whether you live in a suburb or not, it's about where we live and why. Now we're just seeing a little bit of video of the exhibit but yeah. uh, in terms of what people will see when they walk in the door, what are some eye-catching artifacts that people can see? Well when you come in the first thing you'll see is a house under construction, which is really fun. And then you move through and you see a finished house and you're standing in a living room, in a kitchen, there's a small nursery, there's that little backyard that we all think of with the suburbs. Go a little further, you see a section on Southdale, the first fully enclosed mall. And then there's, right in the middle is a 1956 Chevrolet station wagon. And that's pretty iconic when you think about the suburbs and transportation and think of it as sort of the predecessor to the minivan today. And you mentioned Southdale, it's one of the oldest malls in the country, which yes. speaks really to the Twin Cities suburbs itself. But why did you feel like this story was so important to tell? Well, I think because we all know about the suburbs you know, sort of love them or hate them. We talk about them, they're a part of the culture. And we really wanted to go back and talk about when in the Twin Cities did things really get started here? And like I said, then talk about why do we choose where we live? Where, what choices do we make? Do we always have choices about where we live? So we really want to get people talking about home, really, and where they live and why. There's even a play going on called The Realish Housewives of Edina right now in Minneapolis. But what is something that people will learn maybe, or what's a fact you can tell us about that people will learn if they come out to the exhibit? Well, you know, you mentioned Southdale, and I think that's really interesting. A lot of people may not know that Southdale is groundbreaking. It's been called one of the 10 buildings that changed American history. First climate controlled, fully enclosed mall in the U.S. that was meant to be part of a community of a diner that is sort of like a town square almost. And I think people might be surprised to learn the really rich history of Southdale. Well, Kate, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, I was a suburb girl, now I'm a Minneapolis girl, but you can check out Suburbia at the Minnesota History Center in St. Paul. It costs $12 for adults to get in, $6 for children ages five to 17. And it's certainly a great way to educate yourself about the Twin Cities history and maybe even inspire you to move to a different suburb. You, you never go. know.